Russian forces have lost 1,120 soldiers killed and wounded, as well as 58 artillery systems and 24 armored combat vehicles over the past 24 hours. The General Staff of the Armed Forces of Ukraine announced this on Facebook. Army of Ukraine destroyed 24 armored combat vehicles and 8 tanks of Russia. A total of 149 combat engagements took place in the past 24 hours between Ukraine's defense forces and Russian invasion troops along the front line in Ukraine. According to the latest update, the enemy launched 64 airstrikes against Ukraine's military positions and populated areas using 94 gliding bombs. Also, the Russians launched nearly 5,000 artillery strikes, including 143 involving multiple rocket launchers. Russian strikes targeted the settlements of Liptsy, Vovchansk, Mali Prokhody, Sturitsia, Kupiansk, and Hlybok of Kharkiv region, Makievka and Serebriansk forestry of Luhansk region, Chasev Yar, Proers, Mezhov, Hirhivka, Storoshov, Druzba, Toritsk, New York, Dalm, Katerinivka, and Makarivka of Donetsk region. Near the border with Ukraine's Chernihiv and Sumy regions, the Russians maintain their military presence, shelling populated areas from across the border, increasing the density of minefields. Ukraine's air force, missile and artillery units have launched 11 strikes on enemy manpower clusters, also hitting three air defense systems and an artillery system. Russian losses in Ukraine reached conflict highs during May and June, the UK Defense Ministry reported. In an intelligence report on X, the ministry said average daily Russian casualties, both killed and wounded, reached 1,262 and 1,163 in the two months, respectively. In total, Russia likely lost in excess of 70,000 personnel over the past two months, the statement read. The ministry said the losses were due in large part to Russia's failed attempt to advance into Ukraine's Kharkiv Oblast, which opened a new front in the war in early May. Although this new approach has increased the pressure on the front line, an effective Ukrainian defense and a lack of Russian training reduces Russia's ability to exploit any tactical success, despite attempting to stretch the front line further, the ministry said.